Hey everyone, welcome back to another Friday Parts video. I'm Caleb. I'm Tristan. And today we're going to be replacing hydraulic couplers on our skid steer here. If you ever swapped out parts on your skid steer before, you know how important a secure connection is. Today we're diving into a part that's small but mighty, the quick connect coupler. If it fails, it can mean downtime, damage, or even worse. So today, let's walk through everything you need to do to replace, maintain, and inspect this critical component. So today we're replacing the two hydraulic couplers here on our skid steer. We just purchased this and it was used for landscaping. Before we get started, safety is key. Make sure your skid steer is in park, the engine's off and it's on a level surface. And don't forget your safety gloves and your goggles or your glasses. These couplers allow you to use a lot of different attachments, but they have a tendency to wear out quickly or freeze up over time. Always perform an inspection of your couplers before you go to put on an attachment. You want to be looking for any cracks or bends or leaking fluid that could tell you that you have signs of failing couplers. And make sure your couplers are clean before you hook it up so you don't introduce dirt into your system. That can lead to premature failure of your couplers and cause issues over time. Step one, make sure you have everything for the replacement down to your wrenches, your rags, your new couplers. And we're using an air hammer in this case to get the couplers off. And we can't fit a drain pan under there, so we're gonna use rags. So if your couplers have hydraulic locking, you wanna depressurize your system by moving back and forth your controller. For hydraulically actuating couplers, clean the area around the fittings before disconnecting. This prevents any contamination. Make sure to place your drain plan below where you'll be working, where you're gonna be disconnecting the hoses or where the couplers are. So step two, we're gonna take the old couplers off and put the new ones on. So for that, I will put my safety glasses on. And we'll put a rag under here so when the oil does come out, it won't be too big of a mess. So these have a tendency to stick. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use an impact hammer on that that you use for taking off uh, fan clutches. But first thing we wanna do is to be able to get in here because there's a locking bolt that you wanna keep tight. So we're gonna take these two bolts out so we can move the unit forward. So I'm gonna have Caleb hold the wrench while I loosen the male coupler there. So you'll wanna replace your O-ring while you have this off. You don't wanna reuse an old O-ring if you're replacing your couplers. Now we can reinstall our couplers. We're putting the female one back on first. Doesn't have to be super tight because it's got an O-ring on there. And there goes our male end. I'm sure it will be nice to have new couplers on here that work. Now we reinstall our bolts that hold the couplers in place. You want to make sure all your connections are clean before you reattach them. And that's it. Now we get to test them out. Now you want to start the loader and use the quick connect couplers and inspect them to make sure everything's working properly. If you're operating a hydraulic system, check for any hydraulic leaks at the fittings and make sure to look closely while the system is pressurized. If anything's wrong, shut the loader down immediately and retighten your fittings. And that's how you inspect and replace your loader's quick connect coupler. Staying on top of this small part can save you a lot of big problems down the line. So like always, check your owner's manual for any torque specs or machine specific steps. And don't cut corners on safety and quality grease. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos of tractor maintenance guides from Friday Parts. Fix it once. Fix it right. See, see you, you next time. time.